Hey guys, Patrick Buckley here. Buckleyondrums.com is the website. Buckley on Drums, or at Buckley on Drums, that's all the social media. Alright, so if you want to hit me up, just reach out to me. It doesn't matter what it's about. Um, so, we're going to get into the next rudiment, which is the paradiddle. That's a lot of drummers' favorite rudiment. Um, it has a lot of just fluid feeling in it. It's, it's uh, sim I, I assimilate it to the feel of triplets, how triplets just go back and forth. They're a very, very easy hand-to-hand -hand, um, rudiment to play, and that's how paradiddles are too. So, uh, this is what the paradiddle is. It consists of four notes, and it starts with an accent. The right-handed lead paradiddle would be right, left, right, right. The left-handed lead would be left, right, left, left, okay? So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Now this is something I tell my students all the time at the academy. The bigger the distinction is between your accent height of your stick and the tap height of your sticks, uh, the more full that rudiment is going to sound. Because if you're playing everything the same stick height, and there's no difference between that accent and the tap, it's going to sound like this. Now, those are paradiddles. There's nothing really wrong with them, but without that's much different than this. So, you know, it's just a different way of, uh, of playing the paradiddle without that big accent distinction. And also, the, the higher your taps are, the higher your accent has to be, which just becomes tiresome. If, you, if your tap lights are up here, then to put the accent into the rudiment and make it sound good, you gotta have your accent up here. And again, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just, when you're initially learning the, the strokes of the paradiddle, I would highly recommend you know, keeping your accent like at six inches somewhere around there and your taps pretty low.